Hello, my name is Ilya and today we're gonna take a look at the certificates features of the PKI Storage Free Edition. So first of all, you need to open a storage. I have opened the storage that I have created last time in the overview video. And secondly, you can add certificates to the to your encrypted storage. You can add them from files, which is uh, usually PFX if it is a private key and uh, SER if it is a public key certificate. Then you can add them from user store. That means from Windows registry and machine store. It also means from Windows registry, but other storage of Windows. So we will add them from files together with PKI storage free edition uh, package you have a demo certificate. They are placed in the folder where you have installed your PKI storage and they are in the certs folder. So I will install um, right now a Bob certificate which is a pfx file. It basically means I will install my private key certificate here into my PKI storage. I need to put a password so be careful here because for pfx files when you import them into PKI storage, the password is test. Okay, so right now, at the same moment when I have added the certificate to PKI storage, it password became the same as for the storage itself. So right now I have my private key certificate saved into my storage, but I need to use this certificate inside Windows system because all the infrastructure is and applications are working with the Windows registry, crypto P and etc. So for that I need to register this certificate in Windows Store for the mom for the time when I will be working on this operating system. For that I need to right click and press registration. Now the system tells me that my personal certificate is registered in Windows registry right now from this moment I can start signing encrypting and working with different functionalities and application of the this current computer and they will use all they will all use my personal certificate and they will all have the access to to it so now let's check if it is really true so I have just opened a snap in which is called certificates and and I am checking my personal storage where I can see that my certificate is here. So I just finished my work here on this computer, on this operating system, and I want to deregister the certificate so it won't be present in the system anymore. So I press deregister and let's have a look if it was really removed. Yes, it was. So right now, everything is stored in my PKI storage. So let's save it and do one more additional thing every certificate which is stored in the PKI storage encrypted store is capable of doing auto registration. It basically means that whenever you open your store, this is certificates that you put auto registration mode to yes, will be registered automatically into Windows registry. Okay, let's check it out. I will save my store and I will close it. So now let's open it again. And the certificate is automatically registered in the Windows registry. So let's check it out once again. Yes, it is. Now if I close the system like this it will be automatically removed let's have a look yes 